But come with me, I'm gonna make a canvas. Uh, people keep asking me, how do you do these? What's involved? And I use the HS2 raw finger jointed redwood stretcher bars. Um, I like these because they are, I can, I get to cut these to whatever size I want and uh, prepare them as I wish. So the thing with canvases is that you've got to, um, I like putting a bleed around on the edges, a mirror bleed, so that the canvas can be wrapped around so you can actually see the print around as well. Uh, I, I kind of never liked the whole white canvases and uh, the, you know, the, the white edges or the black edges. Uh, and in some cases it works, and in some cases it doesn't work really well. Um, for me as a, as a choice, I've always enjoyed that and I liked it because it just feels like that's a canvas. It's really fully wrapped around. Once this canvas is printed now, just all I do is literally just go in and find wherever the <clears throat> joints are, where the, well, joints, where the mirror is, and I'll just literally go in and fold this. Good thing about this specific canvas is that I can, it's, it's so durable. Um, I can manage it, I can hold it um, without um, having any issues. Um, some people may have uh, sweaty palms. I I've been quite fortunate not to have any sweaty palms. Um, so I'm okay I've <laughs> to actually hold these prints um, because, you know, as you see, I'm, as I rub it like that, there's no damage or anything to the prints. I'll finish you after. This one's a nice poly cotton canvas. Uh, really nice, used, we have used that for a long time now, for, especially for weddings, very durable as well. Uh, you can add a, a frame to this afterwards if you want. Um, once I've done that, I say I've, I've lined it up. I know where the lines are going. I make it really super easy for myself here. And next thing is, you know, I find I don't like lots of pipes and things running around the office. So I use this, the Bosch uh, stapler, which is really good for this. Um, I know this is there. I'll just go ahead and just pin this, pin this down. I'll turn it around. When you're making canvases, it's always good to just work on the opposite sides it's really important um, it lines it up and it kind of stretches it up evenly if that makes sense i try not to over complicate with a lot of jargon that's used around printing because you know my original background <clears throat> was originally photography i use these clamps to just help myself stretch the canvas a little bit once I've done that, I'll just kind of have a quick glance at the canvas. Everything looks great. Everything looks perfect. So I just go in. <clears throat> scissors. This is a very specific scissors that's used for cutting material only. Um, once I've got my canvas in the state, these little edges here on the side, comes the fold itself. And what I tend to do is literally go in and get my fold as I want. What I tend to do is, I tend to cut a little bit off. And one of the reasons why I do this is purely because the other thing what I found when it was canvases, and notice after this video, how when you go and start looking at canvases, you pick this up is the edge here now becomes nice and flat. It's not bulging out, which makes life a lot easier. Life a lot easier when it comes to framing this canvas as well. Um, and that's something that I've done that for quite some time. And it's, 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 it's not super hard to make, put a canvas together. It just comes down to how, how perfect do you want it? How, you know, how do you want it to look? For me, it's like, I want it to, you know, if the way I make these is like how I would want these to be displayed in my house. Um, and I, I want them to be as perfect and as nice as possible. One thing you gotta be careful is that if you are doing these canvases, you don't end up uh, using my method of cutting the edges and cutting extra, because what you'll definitely find is that you've ended up cutting too much, which means now you've got to reprint that print again because you've now lost the fold. Um, you know, the, the, the fold isn't working out for you really well. But one of the good things, about canvases is, is then they, they are nice. Um, what I always say to clients is once you've had it, definitely consider adding a floating frame around because you know these are the L frames we end up doing. But if that was 
that bit there like that you can see how well that looks that looks really cool i really like that or you can even have it floating where it is literally in this position here so kind of that looks good so you, you know you definitely offer that option to the clients um so they know they kind of know then you know how they can finish their masterpiece off so once i've come in have a look it's pretty cool it's nice um, and it sits flat that's the other thing you know uh, it sits flat the edges are not bulging which is really great my next thing i do is i tape these i never ever give canvases like that and if you had canvases from me you would know they're never ever sent out to you like this the you know the back of the canvas has to look good just like how the front of the canvas has to look good um, the Sensecurity tapes are really good. I find that although they're slightly on the dearer side, the good thing about this particular tape is that over time, it doesn't go funny and start peeling off or shrinking away. I have used cheaper tapes in the past, in the early days. So let's try what these tapes, what the difference is. The difference with the uh, cheaper tapes, they're slightly thinner and they do kind of like start shriveling and curling up over time with the atmosphere of where the canvas is. It. now this is how the canvas should really look when you look you know, that kind of thing the finish should be looking like this i like the finishing looking like this um, once that's done look at the back and fix shoes okay um, depending on how big the canvas is uh, this one only requires one uh, hanging fixture in the middle This canvas is now ready. It's going to be displayed by the photographers at the bride and groom's wedding this weekend. And that's the back. There you go. And I like these fixtures. Um, they're very good. They, the canvas fixtures, they hold really well. And, and that's how I make these canvases. The next stage is just to get it wrapped up and make the guest book.